Hello, Chill Computer Guy here. We're in Bitwig's studio. Uh, checking out a track, uh, kind of like a track analysis. I also wanted to talk about a few plugins that I find myself using. I'm a big fan of the Waves plugins, um, mainly because they go on sale often. And they usually, you know, if you wait long enough, if you're patient enough, you can get every Waves plugin for 30 bucks, And they're really quite uh, great uh, plugins. Um, what I wanted to talk about is this uh, particular plugin called Center. Now, this is a uh, plugin that, uh, like I say, Waves makes this, and um, absolutely love this plugin. I like using this on a, like this is a shaker loop here, and uh, I just I don't want it in the center. I want it on the sides, and the ability to turn the center down, turn the sides up. Um, and it's just it's just a masterful plug in. Let's go ahead and play uh let's solo this track and we'll play this thing real quick. And I hope you're wearing uh stereo headphones. Yeah. Now, on top of that, you also have uh, a low and a high kind of, these are shelves, I guess. I'm just going to, they're high and low boost. It's basically a two-band EQ. And then a punch, which is kind of some compression, I guess. And you can steer that towards the, uh, you know, the, uh, the center of the sides as well. Love this plug-in. Check it out. Um, by Waves. We're going to go ahead and listen to this shaker um, with and without it. All right, now we'll hear the shaker in the entire track um, with the center plug-in. Check out this plug-in. Highly recommend it. Um, I don't think it's 30 bucks anymore, but this is one of the ones, as soon as it was 30 bucks, I knew I wanted it. Very, very powerful plug-in for getting your stuff to sit. You don't want, you don't want shaker loop. You, just, you want to carve out the center of your mix for your, for your kick drum, for your bass, and leave all this stuff on the side. This is just a powerful mixing tool, and it's very important to get a very balanced and a really thick, a really thick mix is mainly what, it's a thickness there. All right. All right, one more quick thing. I'm going to unfold this here so you can kind of see what's going on. Um, basically, I really am a huge fan of the uh, the horizontal clip launcher as far as building your tracks, um, being able to focus on what you're working on. Um, this this is a better work environment, in my opinion, than any other DAW, just because you can get in here and you can really work this stuff out. So we got a Vox. Group, okay, the vocal group is, is pretty complex. I have two chains. I have a high chain here, okay, and then they have uh, these uh, plugins. Again, these are all Waves plugins. I love Waves plugins. I really do. Um, this is what we got on the uh, high chain of the vocal bus. Now, this is why I can't use plugins like Nectar. Like I did a review on Nectar 3. This is, I my vocal processing is like, that's, it's really... It's really, you know, it's a, secret, it's a secret sauce. In my opinion, you might as well just put tons of projects in your archive folder until you have a vocal on there. Once you have a vocal on there, then the song actually turns into something, okay? So I have the low muff and the high chain. The low muff, same thing. I got, uh, got the Echo Boy here by Sound Toys, and then I got the, uh, the CLA-2A. 
the LA two A goes on every th every vocal thing. It just this is a very powerful cheap compressor. Just look for it. It's thirty bucks. These two, the Pultec and the CL, uh, these two wait. If it takes a year, spend your money on these because these are thirty bucks. Okay, they're normally like hundred, two hundred. I don't know. They're super expensive, but you just gotta wait for the sales. Um, the Pultec and the uh, the uh, CLA. I don't like really care for the other two compressors, but the CLA 2A is just, it's my vocal, it's, it's a vocal thing there. So that's the low muff right there. And, um... Okay, quick, uh... Quick thing on this vocal. I got the vocal chain going. Um, and then basically once, you know, once that's done, then I got three parallels going off of there. Um, I just duplicate the vocal loop three times. And you can see I'm at zero. Um, this is going to be plus seven semitones. So what I've done is I've taken a pitch and I've, I've jumped this up seven semitones, which is a fifth, okay? Now this one right here, I back this down. Uh, down seven semitones. So this is down a fifth, that's up a fifth, this is the root. So you got root, uh, a fifth up, and a fifth down. Uh, that's basically the vocal blend. Now it's a little extreme. Um, you know, you could bring this down. It's very, very, very wide vocal. And um, and each of these have a CLA-2A on it, as well as um, we have time shift, which is a variable that you can, uh, you can actually you know create some depth with okay i'm gonna go ahead and turn this on the low and the high um i have one on the low one on the high okay i'm gonna go ahead and turn those on so we can hear that I mean, you can hear you can you can get some pretty pretty grody ass vocals in there if you when you're messing with this. But the idea is you can find a balance in there, a balance between these three, and really get a good kind of vocal thick vocal sound. Shaker's gonna let up right here. All right, so here's the thing. We're gonna have to put some lead lines up here. This is definitely, we need some lead lines, but I'm feeling pretty good about what we have as far as, you know, I like this bass pattern. Um, or this is actually the single note. This is actually a very important uh, part of this jam right here. Is this this is this right here? That's all it is.
Yeah, there it is. Now what I want to do is I actually want to put a reverb tail on this. Actually, I'm going to leave this alone for now. This is going to be I'm going to have to make an alt of this because I'm feeling pretty comfortable with what's going on with the instruments here on this track. This is the bass pattern here. There's a bass pattern here. Sappy. It hasn't even been EQ. going on right here on the bass line. Kick drum is going to go in there.
so see, I got so much stuff going on, it's hard to kind of tell. Uh, what I want to do is I want to try to sidechain this bass down. I know this is a house thing, but I just, uh, the kick and the bass are just, they're too, uh, yeah, they're competing there. Where'd my dynamic go? What the hell? Where'd my damn dynamic go? Ought I put it on the bus or something? Oh, it's right here. Oh, it's right here. I put it right there. There's my dynamic. Is this what we're this is what we're side chaining? No, no, no. We want this on the base. Take this and drag it over the base here. So you can drag that shit over there. Isn't that nice? Look at that. You can drag it over there. I like that. I think that's pretty handy. We're gonna put it before the EQ though. Okay. Um, and we're on uh, hip hop fat right here. This is the kit we're on. Uh, we got kick pre right here. That's what we need. Now we're talking. Now we're in the money. So now if we play this, we're going to signal there. Not feeling very confident about my uh, my EQing of this kick drum here. Not feeling very confident about that EQ right there. So, um, oh shit, this is on the whole drum or what? What's going on here? Yeah, okay, this has been EQed. What the f is going on here? Is this the EQ I just? Yeah. Oh wow, what the hell's this EQ? What's going on there? This is 200? Yeah, I don't really know what's going on. I'm actually going to disable the CQ. I don't, know, I don't know when I added that EQ, but that's a bus EQ for the entire drum. So, um, something I got to look into. But anyway, um, the short, a few short lessons. Check out Wave Center. Wave Center is a really, really, really cool plugin. Like I say, it's on sale from twenty nine ninety five for. It's it's always on sale. Just keep your eye on the Wave's website, and they'll put it up for sale. It's a it's a thirty dollars special, and it's a definitely a very very nice plugin. Center by Waves. You can really control your side mix as opposed to your right down the middle mix. That's where you want to put your kick and your bass. It's very important to have a balance and to have a full mix. And part of that is scooping it out of the middle and kind of bringing it out to the edge. But you, and you can overdo this. You really can overdo this. It's very true. Uh, you know, especially if you start applying high shelves to the side, you can get, uh, you know, you can cause ear fatigue, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, Chill Computer Guy, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Keep your eye on the channel. We're going to have some quick, uh, you know, tutorials coming up here and there. Uh, a lot less cutting. We're just going to put them up live. Um, I just think that's a better way to do it. Um, I don't really have the time to cut them up in Premiere Pro, so they might be a little long. They might be 30, 40 minutes. I may just, I may fall asleep here at the desk. <laughs> I may, I may attempt to EQ a kick drum and zone out, um, but that's kind of part of the uh, part of the thing, you know. It's just kind of me working and talking through some stuff, um, you know. We combine work and play over here, you know what I mean? And that way, I get to work on music, and I also get to, you know, load up, hopefully, load up the Chill Computer Guy channel with some good tutorials, some good information. If anything, I can inspire you to work on music. Um, nor beginners, uh, nor experts, uh, for everybody. Um, shitty music, good music, it's all here. It's uh, whatever inspires you to live every day. If it's making music here in the DA, then this might be your channel. So please do subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. 
and uh, we'll see you guys again. Bye-bye now.